So today let's talk about the status quo bias. This is one of those cognitive biases that fundamentally predisposes you to think in a particular way. And it's one which, uh, which means we find solace in keeping things as they are, rather than trying something that was potentially experimental or potentially risky. What do we see when this happens? We see people who are unwilling to, to accept new ideas, unwilling to try new things, um, even though the status quo may not be perfect, in actual fact, even though status quo may be broken, they feel more comfortable staying with things as they are. Now that's a problem because sometimes uh, we don't fix the things that we know are, are wrong with the way we are today, uh, whether that's in an organization, whether that's in ourselves, um, and things don't progress. We don't, we don't get that progression that we actually need, the innovation, the experimentation that we need in, in, to move things forward in business. How do we overcome this? People who uh, suffer from the status quo bias won't listen to rational argument, logical argument. Uh, it's no good bringing an expert and saying, hey, there's a better way of doing things. Uh, the shutters just come up and it's like, no, sorry, don't believe it. One way in which you can uh, tackle this is to help people discover things for themselves. Create an environment where um, they're not told something by an expert, but they discover something about the status quo that they believe to be true and they actually find out isn't true. Sometimes it's dysfunction, sometimes the fact that it has a, an adverse effects further on down the organization. And when they discover things, people are, become much more open to change. 